worship him in spirit and in truth today we just want to welcome everybody in the house of the lord today hallelujah those that are watching virtually on youtube we just want to welcome you and we just want to just ask you to just worship the lord today wherever you are hallelujah let no one stop you from worshiping the lord let no one stop you from really touching him because hallelujah as the songwriter says touching jesus it's all that really matters, and our lives will never be the same. Hallelujah. There is only one way to touch Jesus. And what is that? Just to believe when you call upon his name. Hallelujah. And we're going to call upon his name this morning. As we, as, as we already know, um, today, most of us know, is aware today is a day. We use it as a day as prayer, praise, and worship. Amen, everybody? So we're going to pray this morning. We're going to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Amen, everybody. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. If we are have your hymnals, could you turn to hymn 92? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In our Pentecostal hymnal. Thank you, Jesus. Central, never busy. Always on the line. 
you can hear from heaven almost any time it's the royal service free for one and all get in trouble give this, this royal come on everybody say tell the fall to glory oh what joy divine yes i can feel the current hallelujah it was built by god the father for his love and all you may talk to jesus through oh, this, this royal telephone oh yes there will be no charges telephone is free it was built for service just, just for you and, and me there will be no waiting on this royal line telephone to glory always answer just in time so tell a telephone oh what joy we're gonna call him up in this place today I'm, i can feel the current moving on the it was built it built by god the father for his love and all you may talk to jesus through this royal hello hear what poor person failed to get your answer satan cross your wire by some strong delusion and current or oh, take away don't you know god is on the throne it says fail to get your answer satan guards your wire by some strong delusion or some fierce desire take away obstruction don't you know god is on the throne do you know that telephone today if your line is guarded and connection yeah what be jesus i'm gonna tell you what to do satan prayer Come in, can why till your soul is burning with the Pentecostal. So we say, telephone to glory. Oh, what joy divine. I can feel the current moving on the line. Do you feel it today? Built by God the Father. We're gonna tear down some strongholds in this house today. Oh, hallelujah! Through this royal, oh, carnal combination cannot get control on this line to glory when it's anchored in the soul. So the trials cannot disconnect the line. when it can curse desire oh we take away the obstruction god is on he's still on the throne do you want a answer today telephone oh what joy divine i can feel the current 
moving on the line. It was built by God the Father for his love and all. Oh, when you get in trouble, give this royal line up. I said, when you get in trouble, give this Somebody, somebody, when you get in trouble, don't worry, but just give this royal line up. You're in trouble this morning. When you get in trouble, just give this royal line a call. I said, when you get in trouble, give this. Don't hesitate this morning. I said, when you get in trouble, give this royal line a call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is anybody in trouble this morning? Is anybody in trouble this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give this royal line a call. We're going to give this royal line a call this morning. Amen, everybody. And sometimes, you know, when you pray, hallelujah, there's a prince of Persia that blocks our prayer. But we're going we're gonna to conquer him this morning. Amen, everybody. We're going to conquer him with our faith this morning. We're going to put our faith to another level. Amen, everybody. Hallelujah. Jesus is worthy this morning. And we're going to celebrate him this morning. We're going to worship him this morning. And we're going to talk to him this morning. Because he's our friend. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Sister Janelle is coming with the scripture reading. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy this morning. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 He's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Our scripture reading comes to us from Ecclesiastes 5. Reading from verse 1 to 6. Ecclesiastes 5, reading from verse 1 to 6. You'll follow while I read. Keep thy foot when thou be goest to the house of God. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with thy mouth, mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven and thou upon earth, therefore let thy words be few. For a dream cometh through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by a multitude of words. When thou voice a vow unto God, differ not to pay it, for he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow, than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. Verse 6 and last. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin, neither say unto before the angels that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hands? Here in a portion of God's holy word. I'm going to conquer. I'm going to conquer. I don't know about you this morning. I'm going to conquer in Jesus' name. For the Lord will help me to conquer. Jesus. Come on, tell yourself this morning, I'm going to conquer. I am going to conquer. You better tell yourself, I'm going to conquer in Jesus' name. For the Lord will help me to conquer. 
the prince of Persia. Hallelujah. He tries to block our prayers sometimes. The situation that we have. Hallelujah. Struggling over times and times again. I just feel radical in my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. I just feel, excuse me somebody. I just feel radical in my spirit this morning. I'm having a holy indignation this morning. Hallelujah. I feel a war in my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. I feel a radical, radical war. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you this morning, but I feel a radical spirit in my soul this morning. Hallelujah. For too long. Hallelujah. We sit and let the enemy have to step upon us. For too long. Echo Shanda. We have our situation and we let the enemy dictate to us. Don't let him dictate to you this morning. We know that we serve. We know the God that we serve. And we're going to take our faith to another level in him this morning. Hallelujah. Glory. Mm. Jesus. Let your blood prevail in this house this morning. Hallelujah. Blood, 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 blood. Blood of Jesus. I dash it all over this house this morning. I dash it, hallelujah, in your home this morning. I throw it, hallelujah, in the car this morning. I throw it, hallelujah, in the atmosphere this morning. We plead the blood of Jesus against the enemy. He's defeated. Hallelujah, blood of Jesus. It's against him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go in our first time of prayer this morning. We're going to ask Sister Charmaine Dacus, could you come this morning? We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for ourselves this morning. I don't, I don't know about you today in a virgin, but I have to go. I have to take my faith another level. Maybe you don't have any situations. But I know I have minds. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to conquer your for yours, help me to conquer for minds. Amen, everybody. But we're going to conquer in this house this morning. Hallelujah. Just pray, sister. Pray. Hallelujah. I'm trying to praise the Lord, everyone. Can we lift our hands and we'll worship him this morning? Can we give him some true worship this morning? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Can we all just unite in prayer right now in the name of Jesus? Let's pray together, Lord Jesus. We worship you. We honor you, Jesus. We call you holy. We call you righteous. God, there is none like you in heaven above our earth beneath. Lord, we are nothing before you. But this morning, Jesus, we stand in your presence. God, I'm praying you empty us of self. Empty us of all impurity. Lord God Almighty, burn out sin and carnal weaknesses. Lord Jesus Christ, as we stand, oh God upon the authority of the Holy Ghost as we stand in the, the position of the apostles and prophets. Lord, to proclaim your words. Jesus Christ, we know the force of hell is against us. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we come and we stand in your presence. And we ask you this morning, Jesus Christ, arise and let your enemies be scattered. Lord God Almighty, this morning, I'm praying, oh God, you anoint everyone from the pulpit to the pew. Lord, the musicians, Lord, the speaker, let everything be said and done to the glory of your name. Help us to worship you. Lord, let self be slain, Jesus. Oh God Almighty, we worship you this morning because we have no other God but you. Lord, we acknowledge no other God but you. We worship no other God but you this morning. But I'm praying in the name of Jesus. 
for those, oh God Almighty, who are watching on Zoom. Lord Jesus, let your presence be felt. Mighty God, mighty man of war, Lion of Judah, we worship you this morning. We call on you this morning, Jesus, to hear and answer. Heal those who are sick. Lord, I'm praying this morning, oh God, especially for those who can't come out. Those who are sick and afflicted. Anoint them, Lord Jesus. Anoint them, Lord Jesus. I'm praying, oh God, for the musicians. Lord, the enemy is fighting. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against all principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness. Lord, remember Darren who is not well this morning. Jesus, I am weak, but the word strong. Lord God, I'm praying in the name of Jesus this morning that you heal. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, heal from the pulpit to the pew. Lord God Almighty, hear and answer. Lord, I'm praying for the remaining of the service. Let your presence be felt. God, remember the speaker. Oh, God Almighty, Holy Spirit, anointing, rest heavily, hallelujah, upon such a one this morning. Jesus, let everything be said to the glory and the honor of your name, because we give you thanks and we look to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Could you just worship the Lord, everybody? Let's not get comfortable in the house of the Lord because we're here to worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you this morning, but I need a word. Whenever I come into the presence of the Lord, whenever you see me come here, it's not to sing. It's not really to sing. It's not really to whatever, but it's just I, I, I'd never like to come into the house of the Lord and go back the same way. It's a crime for me. It is a crime, I count it as a crime to come into the presence of the Lord and don't hear something from him, from my spirit. Something for him, from him. Hallelujah. I, I am miserable when I, when I can't feel the Lord. Hallelujah. I am miserable. I'm, I'm not sure about you, but I need, a, I need a personal word for myself. I am not sure for you, brethren. I always need to hear from the Lord. Hallelujah. So let us focus on the Lord today because we're going to hear for every one of your situations you're going to hear the you're going to hear a word just listen for a word today amen everybody put your antenna up hi come on we are serving a God let us not take him for granted this morning let us not take our God for granted he wants to speak with us he wants to speak to us so let us listen hallelujah and anticipate a word from Jesus Christ, the Almighty God. Hallelujah. We need to hear from you. I need a word from you. Lord, if I don't hear from, from you, Lord, hey, what will we do? Hey, Needing you more, more and more each day. Just show us your. There is no other way, Lord, that we can live. Come on, tell yourself, touch yourself. I need to Lord I need a, a word a word Jesus one word from you if we don't hear from you Lord then what what Lord what are we going to do Jesus we have only you Lord we need you more. We need you, Lord, to show us your perfect, your perfect way. There is no other, no other way that we can. 
and live. Could we do that one more time? Somebody put your hands on yourself and say, I need. One word, Lord. I need a word. Lord, if I don't hear. What will we do? What am I going to do, Jesus? What am I going to do, Lord? Wanting you more, more, more each day. Show us your perfect, the perfect, the perfect way. Because there is no, no other way, no other way that we can. There is no, no other way. God, I see no other way that we can live. There is no other way. There is no, no other way that we can live. So you are here. Moving in this place, I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning life around. I know that Jesus is here this morning. I worship. I worship Him this morning. I worship. I call you Lord and you are here. You are here. You're mending the broken heart. I worship you. I worship you. Lord, you are here. You're going to turn. You're going to turn some life around. Could we worship him this morning? Could we worship him for a blessing this morning? I worship hey. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keep, light in the darkness. Is your situation done this morning? Let's call it. Say way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Lord, that is who you are. Hey, 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 hey. You're my, my way today even when you don't see it it's working and even when you don't feel it you never stop you never stop even when I don't see it and even when we don't feel it Lord you never stop working Jesus we believe that you're working we believe in Jesus you are working you'll never stop you are working ah, that is who you are that is who you are that is who you are We worship you. We worship. 
worship you. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Could somebody worship him this morning? Could you bless somebody worship him this morning for being your way maker? Could you worship him this morning for being your miracle worker? Hallelujah, because he's going to work on you. He's going to work on your situation. Hallelujah, he's going to give you a whoa praise. He's going to give you a whoa, hallelujah. Hallelujah, whoa, thank you, Jesus. I believe him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, we're going to have Sister Lillian Michael one more time to come. Hallelujah, and she's going to pray. Hallelujah. She's going to pray again for us this morning. And she's going to pray, hallelujah, this morning for young people, for the church, hallelujah, in general, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. She's going to intercede this morning. And she's going to send up some smoke, hallelujah, in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Some smoke of pray some smoke of faith hallelujah and she's gonna challenge the prince of persia this morning to let go of her blessings she's gonna challenge hallelujah the prince of persia this morning to let go of her anointing she's gonna challenge the prince of persia this morning hallelujah the angels hallelujah that the lord set over each and every one of us He's going to fight for us this morning. Hallelujah. And he's going to push. Hallelujah. The Prince of Persia out of our way this morning. Hallelujah. He's going to push him away this morning. With fire. Hallelujah. And brimstone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Could you just lift your hands? And could we just worship the King of Kings this morning? Hallelujah! 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 Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! Hallelujah! We worship you, Jesus! Lord 
Jesus, deep down in our heart. Lord Jesus, this is a personal experience with you, God Almighty. We cannot come as we wish, but God Almighty, we pray that you keep, Lord Jesus. Keep us, God Almighty. Lord God, help us, Lord Jesus, wherever we are, wherever we go. Help us, Lord God, to keep ringing out your name at school, at work, and at play. Lord Jesus, help us to live our life and let it be pleasing, Lord, to you. Lord Jesus, hear our cry this morning. Lord God Almighty, we pray for our young people. Lord God Almighty, it has been a burden on my heart for the young people, God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, they cannot come at their wish. Lord God Almighty, they are out there. And Lord Jesus, if they are not conscious, Hallelujah. If they are not conscious, Lord God Almighty, Lord Jesus, the devil will sieve them as wheat. But we pray for them this morning. We pray for them this morning. Wherever they may be, God Almighty, we pray, God Almighty, that you let your mighty hands wrap around them, God Almighty. Lord, you know the young people of this church. You know them by name. You know them by nature. Wherever they may be this morning. Lord God Almighty I pray that you send your Holy Spirit and comfort their heart. God Almighty you know everything about them. Lord God Almighty you know some of them are not so strong. Some of them are fragile and they need the strong ones to guide them God Almighty, we pray this morning that you strengthen them, God Almighty. Strengthen them, God Almighty. Lord Jesus, be a comfort to them. Help them, Lord Jesus, not to stay home and just to watch television. Lord God Almighty, but help them to read your word. Help them to pray. Help them to fast. Help them, Lord God Almighty, to look to you, Lord, from whence cometh their help. Because God Almighty, you said, young men, I call upon you because you are strong. They are the men and women of tomorrow. They will be the ones, God Almighty, who will be running the church. They will be the ones, God Almighty, to give instruction. They will be the ones, God Almighty, who will be take us to prayer. Will be the mothers and the fathers of this church. God Almighty touch them wherever they may be. Lord God Almighty, if they Lord God had slip, if they have Lord, turn their back on you. If they are backslidden, Lord, bring them back. Bring them back to your fold. You say you will never leave them and you will never forsake them. But your arms are wide open to receive them unto you. Lord Jesus, have thine own way. We pray for every individual this morning. Lord, we pray for the musician. Lord, they are young. They are young musicians. Lord, cover them under your blood. Let your blood stay, Lord Jesus. Be about them, Lord God Almighty. Lord Jesus, we pray, dear God, that you'll bless each and every one of us as we come in your presence, Lord. Lord, I count this as a privilege for me to be here this morning. Lord, I just want to thank you. I just want to praise you. I just want to worship you. I just want to exalt you. Lord Jesus, if there is any unsafe in our midst this morning, Lord Jesus, I pray God Almighty that Lord God Almighty that they will not just come, 
Lord God, but they may come and give their life to you. To call you in water baptism and in filling of the Holy Ghost. Lord, cover each and every one of us that are here this morning. Let your blood stain, God Almighty, be upon us this morning. Lord, we pray for the moderator. We pray for our pastor. We pray for our deacons. We pray, God Almighty, for our, our department leaders. Lord, God Almighty, lead them, Lord, that they may lead us, God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for the little children. Lord Jesus, cover them under your blood. In our going out and in our coming in, Lord Jesus, we pray for your coverage. Coverage, Jesus. Cover your people this morning. Cover us, Jesus. Let your anointing be upon us, God, as we come to worship you. Help us to give you everything. Lord, help us not to hold back. Now is not the time to hold back, God Almighty. But now is the time to give you everything. Now is the time to give you everything we are living in the last and closing days of time. Hallelujah. Time clock is striking the hour. Jesus, you will soon descend. And Lord Jesus, you are coming back for people that are ready. Lord, help us to be ready. Help us to not be getting ready. But help us to be ready. Waiting for the day to come. God Almighty, we love you this morning. As we worship you, God. Help us to empty ourselves before you. Help us to give you everything. Lord, we don't know if it's the last chance we have to be in your presence. But God Almighty, we pray that you will help us to worship as if it's the last day. Jesus, it's Jesus. the last day we have in your presence. God Almighty, have thine own way. Have thy own way this morning. We look to you, Lord. You are the heart and the finish of our faith. And this morning, God, whatever we fail of us in you, hallelujah, we fail not. Grant it unto us, Lord. Grant it unto us more abundantly. And could we say in Jesus' name? Jesus' could name. Could we say in Jesus' name? In Jesus' hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Could you lift your hands, everybody? Could you lift your hands, everybody? Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way, Jesus. Thou art the potter. We are the clay. Mold us and make us. Hallelujah. After your will, while we are waiting, hallelujah, we are healed. And we are still. Have thine own way, Jesus. Have thine own way, Jesus. Have your own way, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy today. Hallelujah. He's worthy today. Hallelujah. We want to greet our visitors today. Hallelujah. We're going to ask the visitors that are in the house, could you stand this morning? Visitors in the house. Hallelujah. And seeing Sister Malvo. Sister Malvo, could you stand and give a big hallelujah to the Lord this morning? Sister Malvo, could you stand and give the Lord we know why we call your sister Malvo. You know? We know why we call your sister Malvo. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take up your bed and walk. Walk, sister Malvo. You need to walk. Take up your bed and walk. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Let the Lord have his way in your life. Hallelujah. His, your, that your daughter, could you stand and just shout a big hallelujah? We cover you today. One more time. Thank you, Jesus. We're happy to have you in the house of the Lord today. And we claim a blessing for you today. Amen, everybody. Could you shout a big hallelujah this morning? If you agree with me this morning, could you shout a big hallelujah? We claim a blessing 
you can stay right where you are and receive what you came here for. Hallelujah. God is alive and he's well. You just have to reach out to him and let him have his way this morning. Hallelujah. And we have our visitor, Sister. This morning, Sister Johnson, could you shout a big hallelujah to the Lord? We're happy to have you this morning. Come on, I know you as be to be now a little warrior girl. You know. Not to little anymore, forgive my speech, but I know you to be a warrior. Come on, shout a big warrior praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy this morning. And everybody, could you shout a big hallelujah in the house this morning? Hallelujah. We're going to have the ushers. Ushers, could you come this morning? Ushers, could you come? Hallelujah. And while the usher, while the offering is being collected, hallelujah, we're going to ask Grace to sing to minister. Hallelujah. So Dennis, could you pray? Just a woman. Lord, help me believe in all that I have and all that I have. Show me the stairway. I have to climb.
Jesus And tomorrow may never be mine So Lord, for my sin Teach me to take Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Could you lift your hands, everybody? Ask the Lord one day at a time. Say, Jesus, one day at a time. Hallelujah. Sister Nordia Hunter, could you come with the announcement today, this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised and adored. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's praise the Lord one more time. Truly, there is an awesome presence of the Lord in our midst. And even as sister, our sister prayed, I believe that some person's yoke has been lifted. Somebody's shackles have been broken. The songwriter says, in the presence of Jehovah, troubles vanish and hearts are mended. Truly is our king this morning and we worship him. Just want to welcome you to another Sunday morning service. I greet our host, Pastor, Pastor Earl Danvers, First Lady Evangelist Sharon Danvers, the musicians, our saints who are in our midst, along with our visitors. Those of you who are joining in on, in Media Land, I greet you also. Just want to let you know that your worship is no less effective even though you're not in the assembly, your blessing is not limited because the power of our God has no limit. Praise the Lord. So just worship and claim your blessing. Let me greet the technical team who on every occasion has made it possible for us to connect both here at home and abroad. We have persons who join us in our services over, from overseas. Thank you, technical team. You're helping us to get connected so we can maintain our heavenly connection. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Also, those under the sound of my voice in the community, they are in your home, they are on the corner. I greet you. We have not forgotten you. Somebody says, um, when outside start to keep what they're going to do, but we want to tell you that when outside start to keep, we will be coming after your soul in a massive evangelism because you need to be saved. Praise the Lord. Let me acknowledge the presence of our visiting speaker, Brother Orlando Johnson and his wife, Sister Johnson. God bless you for taking time out, for being here with us this morning. Minister, you're not here by chance, but the Lord has brought you here to deliver a word to his people. And may you do so under the guidance and his holy anointing, praise God. By way of an announcement, tomorrow, Monday, will be family prayer meeting. We'll be praying with our family members in our homes. And we know that this is very effective. We cannot come in the assembly as we want to, but let us pray in our homes with our family. We have a testimony that some weeks ago, one of our members who have been seeking the Lord for a long time, he received the Holy Ghost in a family prayer meeting. So let us just continue to keep the fire burning and to keep the prayer wheel turning. Take this opportunity to reach your unsafe family members. Praise the Lord. On Wednesday, 10.30 a.m., we will have fasting in the church house, and you know the limit is 30 persons until that has changed. In the evening, we'll have Bible study via Zoom, and this will start at 7.30 p.m. For Friday, this Friday, and in the next three weeks following, we will be having, our youth service will be in the form of a prayer service and consecration, and we're asking all our youth to fast on these Fridays. So fasting on the Friday in the day, and then we'll have prayer meeting on Zoom, 7.30 in the evening. Praise the Lord. Saturday morning at 5.30 a.m. will be our early morning prayer meeting. Praise
praise the Lord. And truly, we are being refreshed and revived in these sessions. Hallelujah. Praise God. This afternoon, our Sunday school classes, we will have the primary and preteen meeting at 1 p.m. on Zoom. And teens and adults will meet at 3.30 p.m. this afternoon, also on Zoom. These are the announcements. God bless you as you continue to worship him. Everybody, one more time, everybody, hallelujah. One more time, everybody, two, three, hallelujah. We're going to ask our pastor to come, Pastor Danvers, Earl Danvers, but just before he comes, there's a, just a little song on my heart from the other day. I just want to sing two verses of it, just one or two verses of it, and he's going to come. I will make the darkest night before you. What is wrong? I'll make them right before you. All the battles I'm going to fight them for you. And the high place I'm going to bring them down. I just want to encourage somebody this morning. I will make, I's going to make the darkest light before you. Whatsoever is wrong, he's going to make them right before you. All of your battles, God is going to fight them for you. And the high place he's gonna bring he's gonna bring them down for when the walk is by the way I will lead thee and the fatness of the land I'm gonna feed thee and a mansion in the sky I will be in thee and your high place he's gonna bring he's gonna bring them down when the walk is by the way Jesus said this morning he's gonna lead thee on the fatness of the land He's going to feed thee. Oh, the mansion in the sky. He's going to deed thee. And every high place. He's going to bring. He's going to bring them down. When the walk is by the way Jesus said he's gonna lead you on the fatness of the land Jesus said he's gonna feed you oh there is a mansion in the sky he's gonna give you and you know what every high place He's going to bring, he's going to bring them down. Hallelujah. With an everlasting love, Jesus, he will love thee through the trials. Deep and stored, I will prove thee. But there is nothing nothing that can hurt I will ever, ever, ever move thee cause you know what every high place he's gonna bring believe it this morning he's gonna bring them down watch them come down this morning when the walk is by the way Jesus said it he's gonna lead thee on the fatness of the land. 
said, you know what Jesus said? He's going to feed thee. Oh, the mansion in the sky. He will deal thee. And every high place he's going to bring them down. Come, Pastor Danvers. Every high place he will bring. He will bring them down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Every high place he will bring them down. Every high place, he will bring them down. That's the God we serve. He's the God of the valley. He's the God of the mountain. When things go wrong, he make them right. That's the God we serve. Can, can we salute him? Can we salute him? Can we salute him? Can you just stand for a moment? Just stand up. Just raise your hands to the Lord, everybody. Yes. Just give a wave offering to the Lord. Yeah, everybody gonna give a wave offering to him. Yes, we're gonna use our time wisely. Hallelujah. Somebody say it. There is peace. In the midst of a storm, toss life, there is an anchor, there is a rock, I be my fate upon Jesus Christ. One more time, everybody. Somebody say peace. One more time. Somebody say peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord everybody. Yeah. Amen. There is a storm and what I learned there are some prayer requests here today. I want to quickly honor these requests. So let me just remind you if you never have a problem. <laughs> now I want to be practical and be spiritual and be positive and speak faith in the atmosphere it seems as if god specializes in things that are impossible you, so if you are here today and you are low in spirit if you are sick if you have any problem god specializes in you so can you raise your hand for that somebody if you believe it can you raise your hand for that somebody amen i want to greet everyone in the name of jesus i want to say um, how much I appreciate Deacon Smiker's son for being here. God bless you, my son. You got baptized just in time. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. And we have another person to be baptized. 
And let me just do what is to be done. I want to greet Brother um, Notice. Um, we call him Sammy. Can we have more than one notice? Gre greetings, Brother Sammy. Glad to have you. And your brother is behind you, backing you well. Isn't God wonderful? <laughs> Isn't God wonderful, somebody? Feeling good to be in church. I want to greet just about everyone. Sister Johnson, glad you're here with us. And of course, we have Sister All. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to be praying for you. You're going to be away from us for a while. And brethren, we don't take chances with God. Whether we are in Jamaica or anywhere, we don't, take, we don't play with God, you know, because you never know what God can do and will do. And we have testimonies of persons who travel, and they went away safe, and they came back safely. So can we stretch our hands to the Lord and say, Lord, this our sister, Anna Kay, who's about to travel, Lord, we stretch our hands. We stretch our hands not because of fear or doubt. We stretch our hands towards her because we are grateful for what she has done for others. And you can do it for her just the same. Hallelujah. For you the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Claim your blessing. Claim your protection, my sister, as you go and come back safely. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord of one. Amen. I have somebody to be baptized today. How are we going to do that? I'm going to start the process. I have, there are persons who are sick. I'm going to ask Sister um, Ariana Orton, if you're here, I'm going to ask you to come and take some of this olive oil in your hand. You alone have to come. I'm going to ask you to sing this song while she comes. Jesus paid it all. I'm going to ask you to sing this song with me before I give you this oil. Can you help me with this song? Jesus paid it all. all to, to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson that song one more time. He was his wife as no. Somebody sing that song one more time. Oh, Jesus, you paid it all. As you close your eyes, Sin as you close your eyes, left a day. He said, No, Lord, just wash. He washes, wash them one. Oh. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Something compels me. Something just prick in my spirit. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask the church to bear with me before I pour the oil in your hands. I believe God don't just want to heal your body. But he want to heal your soul. Somebody raise your hand for the soul of this Hallelujah. young lady. Before I pour the oil in her hand. Hallelujah. Take a few seconds and just lift your hands and say, Lord. She need healing both for body and both for soul. And the only way a man can be healed. Can you lift your hands? Close your eyes. Yes. The only way a man can be really healed is when you get forgiveness of your sins. <laughs> that is real healing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, when a man is really healed Jesus. is when you repent of your sin yes. and baptize in Jesus' name. Yes. And most of all, you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's worshiping the Lord here today. Just believe the Lord. Believe him. As you stand here, believe the Lord. Whatever you need, just believe the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. The sickness in the body, believe God for it. Yes, whatever sickness it is, just believe God. Before you leave here today, yes. Before you leave here today. Before you leave here today. Somebody worship the Lord with me. Before you leave here today. Before you leave here today. Can you open your hand, my sister? Open your hands and receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Anoint yourself. Anoint yourself and go back to your seat. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing is in the house. Healing is in the house. Healing is in the house. Stretch your hand and say, healing is in the house. Thank you for the healing, Jesus. Thank you for healing my body. Thank you for healing my soul. When I received the Holy Ghost, I got healing from my soul. Thank you, Jesus. As you remain standing. Oh, Lord. I want to use this opportunity to invite our, our speaker in the presence of Brother Johnson. I'm going to allow him. I'm going to allow him to allow the Holy Ghost. Just allow the Holy Ghost to do what it wants to do. God bless you as you come now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just give praise and worship, Lord, everybody? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised, God. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead and just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I've had many tears and sorrows. I had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I felt so all alone. But in those lonely hours, in those precious lonely, lonely hours, Jesus let me know I was his own. And I've been to a lot of places. And I've seen a lot of different faces. And there have been times I did know right from wrong. But in every situation God gave me a blessed consolation that my trials only comes to make me strong through it all through it all through it all, it all I've learned to trust in Jesus, I have learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His word. One more time, through it all, through it all, say, through it all. Oh, through it all, through it all, I have learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Oh, through it all, through it all, through it all, 
do it all, do it all. I've learned to depend up all these words. And I thank God for the mountain. And I thank him for the valley. I thank him for all the storms he has brought me through. Because if I never had a problem, I wouldn't know that he could solve them. I wouldn't know what faith in God can do. Hallelujah. Through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Through it all, I've learned to depend upon his words. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can be seated for a while. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me take the time out to, to greet you this morning in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Praise God. There is no other name given amongst men where I could greet you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Let me greet Pastor Danvers, his wife, Lady Danvers, and his children. Let me greet all the board members, all the, the deacons, and all the ministers that are here. And let me just take the time out to greet God's wonderful people. Amen. And let me greet the unsaved. You are the reason why we are here today. Praise God. We are here for you. And you are here for a word. And you are here for, for God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. There's no mistake. God doesn't make any mistake. Once you are here, you are here because he caused it cause you to be here. It wasn't by mistake why you get up this morning and take a shower. Maybe if you had something to heat, put on your clothes, spray on some cologne and just say, you know what, I'm going to church. No, no, no. It was all in the, in the plan of God for you to be here at this time, at this moment. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let me greet you. Let me greet the musician and the technical team. Let me greet those who are on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are listening. I greet you today. Amen. I bring greetings also from Pastor Winter and the saints at Cassava River. Praise God. Praise God. The last time I was here, I, I came in as a, as a single man. And, you know, God bless me with... Can you stand, Mrs. Johnson? God bless me with a beautiful wife and I am grateful. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You can be seated. You know, the Bible said when, when you find a wife, you find a good thing. And I am learning that every day. Praise God. God is good. Hallelujah. So I greet you in Jesus' name. Can we just stand as we read today? And... Uh, I believe that the, 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 the Lord has a word for someone. Praise God. I, I would hope that it's for everyone. But I believe it's, it's for someone, even one person. That this word is for even one person today. Even one pastor. Even one. Praise God. All right, so we're going to read two passages of scriptures. First, we'll be reading from St. Mark chapter 5 and verse, we're going to start from verse 22. And then we're going to read Hebrews 4 and verse 15. So first, St. Mark chapter 5, reading from verse 22. Let me just go ahead for the interest of time. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus, by name. 
And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, and throng him. And a certain woman, somebody say a certain woman. A certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. And had suffered many things of many physicians. And had spent all that she had. And when nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said... If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. Hebrews 4, verse 15. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Pastor, could you just whisper a word of prayer? Eternal God, our Savior, we approach you now. Boldly we come to the throne of grace to find help in a time of need. Lord, and of course, you can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. And we have no doubt, there's no fear, but we come boldly, oh, to your throne of grace now to find help in the time of need. Oh, hallelujah. So you may lay your hands on the speaker, and the needs that are here today, they will be supplied. We ask it and we claim it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You can be seated. Praise God. Jesus. Today, I would like to, to speak to you on, this, on a simple thought or topic. Whatever it takes, I must touch Jesus. Whatever it takes, I must touch Jesus. Praise God. Whatever it takes. If you, if you have to crawl on your knees. If you have to run around the aisles. But whatever it takes today. This moment. Don't leave here without touching Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that Jesus touched a lot of sick people during his time on earth. In fact, the Bible tells us of this blind man by the name of Blind Bartimaeus. And that when Jesus was passing by, and that Blind Bartimaeus understood that something was happening. And so the Bible said that when Jesus was passing, that Blind Bartimaeus cried out and said, Jesus, have mercy upon me. The Bible tells us that someone on the wayside said to this blind man, said, blind man, shut your mouth. Keep your peace. But blind Bartimaeus had a need. Blind Bartimaeus understand that, listen, there is something that I need from Jesus. And so while Jesus was passing by, blind Bartimaeus cried out the more. And he said Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. The Bible said that Jesus stopped in his track and, and said, bring him to me. And so when they brought blind Bartimaeus to Jesus, 
The Bible said Jesus asked him, what do you want? And blind Bartimaeus said that I might receive my sight. The Bible said that Jesus touched blind Bartimaeus. And immediately he received his sight. Mark told us of a scenario of this blind man. Now we don't know his name, but this blind man, they brought him to Jesus and said, have mercy upon him. The Bible said that Jesus led him out of the city. And when he had spot on his eyes and asked the man a simple question, can you see? The man said, yes, I see man as tree walking. But when Jesus touched him the second time, the Bible said that he received his sight. So a lot of sick people was brought to Jesus for a simple touch. Just a touch. Just one touch. But this woman stand out in my mind as I read through the scriptures. Because this woman, firstly, we have to understand that this woman, the Bible said that she was sick for 12 years. And for 12 years that this woman, she was losing blood. For 12 years, this woman was in a situation where there was no hope. For 12 years, she sat at home wondering how is she going to be delivered from this problem. For 12 years, she, she, she might have heard people talk about her situation. In fact, the, the writers of the Bible, they said a woman, they didn't even give her a name. Mighty God. Have you ever been in a situation where your situation becomes who you are? People don't know your name anymore because of your situation. Oh yes, she's the woman with the cancer. Oh God, she is yes, he's the blind man who begs on the wayside. Nobody remember your name anymore. All they remember is your situation. Praise God. And so for 12 years, this woman was living with this situation. For 12 years, she couldn't go to the temple. For 12 years, she couldn't go to the high priest. For 12 years, her problem had her bound. Have you ever been sick today? Have you ever been sick where you thought, listen, I'm going to give up. I'm going to throw in the towel because there is no hope for my situation. The Bible said that for 12 years she tried every physician. Oh God. Maybe she went to the Wobia man. She went to the Sia man. She went to every physician in her time that she could think of. But the Bible said instead of getting better, her situation got worse. She came to a point in her life when she had, now when she spent everything that she had. Maybe she was a married woman, but her husband said, listen, I can't stand their situation anymore. So I'm going to walk out of you. Maybe her children were saying, listen, mommy, your situation is not getting any better. Why not just lay down and die? Maybe her church family forsake her because of her situation. Because of the problems that she was facing. Maybe everybody in her life turned their backs on this woman. And so for 12 long years, she has been in this situation. She has been bound for 12 years. 12 long years. And let me just tell you, 12 years is a long time to be sick. 12 years is a long time to be losing blood. 
12 years a very long time to be losing blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I can imagine this woman, how weak she became. Because now she was losing blood for 12 years. She must be weak. Praise God. She's going to go to the high priest. Because the high priest required, because Moses' law required a certain kind of, of ceremonial kind of washing. So she was deemed unclean. What a situation to be in. Where you want to come into the presence of God. But your situation is holding you back. Oh, God, I hear Sister Faye say the, the, the Prince of Persia is blocking the atmosphere. And maybe our situation is the Prince of, the devil is blocking us from receiving our blessing. And so for 12 years, our situation had her bound. For 12 long years, she wanted to come to church. But because of her situation, oh God, people are going to chat me. Can we be real now? People are going to talk against me. If I go, people are going to say all manner of things against me. People are going to criticize me. People are going to push up their nose against me. Because of my situation. So for 12 long years, this woman, she tried every physician. She grew worse, the Bible said. And the Bible said that Jesus was passing that way. Just passing. And the important thing that we have to understand is that Jesus was not on that route for her. He was going to Jairus' house because Jairus had a need. His daughter lay at the point to die. Can you imagine the situation that this woman is caught up in and the situation that Jesus is caught up in? Listen, Jesus is on his way to Jairus' house. And because of Jairus' situation, Jairus needs Jesus right now, immediately. Because if Jesus delay, my daughter is going to die. But this woman, I believe that this woman said to herself, listen, I've counted up the cost. I've put everything on the table. Come on now. Have you ever been in the, at those times in your life when you said, listen, enough is enough. I've been in this situation for too long. For too long I've been in a state where I can't feel God. For too long I have sit in my, in my lukewarm situation. Twelve years is a long time to not feel the presence of God. So I believe that this woman said enough is enough. Enough is enough. She said to herself, listen, I must see Jesus. Maybe she had heard about this Jesus. Oh God. Do you remember when we were out there in sin and we heard about this Jesus? When I was young and here, the saints testify about how wonderful Jesus is. And how sweet the loving touch of Jesus is. Listen, when I heard the testimonies, I couldn't stay away. And so I believe that this woman, she heard of Jesus. She heard how Jesus... Touch blind Bartimaeus. She heard how Jesus delivered the blind man. She heard how Jesus touched the man who was sick at the pool of Bethsaida. Maybe she had heard how Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. She heard all the testimonies. Maybe a sister visited her one day and said, you know, hear about this, this new physician. This man called Jesus. Let me tell you, if you go to Jesus, he will give you everything you need. 
Oh God, maybe she heard the testimony of the woman at the well who said, come see a man. And today, if you are sick, if you are not saved, come see a man. This man will tell you everything you ever done. This man will give you healing for your body, healing for your soul. This man have everything you need. Come see a man. So maybe she heard the testimonies. And she said, enough is enough. Enough is enough. For too long I have been listening to the naysayers. For too long I have let what people say defile me. For too long I have let my condition determine who I am. My mind takes me back to this woman named Naomi. Naomi, when she went back to Bethlehem, Judea. Now, Naomi means my joy. When you saw Naomi coming, you said, there goes joy. There goes happiness. There goes peace. But when Naomi returned back to Judea, she said, don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara. Call me something that is bitter. Because I went out happy. I came back sad. But Jesus. Today if you are sad. Jesus is here. Today if you are sick. The healer is here. Today if you are lonely. The comforter is here. Oh God, today if you don't have a friend, there's a friend that is sticking closer than a brother. He's here today. Today if your mother and your father forsake you, Jesus is here. So this woman, she packed everything she had. Said to herself, listen, I must touch Jesus. I must Touch Jesus. And I believe that this woman, maybe, come here, Sister Faye, can I use you today? God bless you. I believe, Pastor, just turn around, Sister Faye. I believe because of everything that this woman has been through. Now when she decides to step out by faith, because, listen now, you have to step out by faith. These things take faith, you know. You can't just step out just so. You have to put everything to God. Faith now have to move. And so when she step out, I believe maybe her children was blocking her. I said, listen, mommy, don't go because, listen, people are going to talk about you. But people are going to say, mommy, where you going? Children might say, daddy, where you going? You know, she say you're weak. You know, she say you are loose blood. Where you going? You know, see your shirt blood up. Oh, God. Are your blood running on your foot? But this woman said, listen, I am going to push. I'm going to push what people say about me. I'm going to push past the crowd. I'm going to push past the lies. Push past the negative vibes. Push past the negative energy. Because I must touch Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to push past the backbiting. I'm going to push past what they say about me, Pastor. Because there is something I need. There's a need in my soul. There's a longing to be filled. Oh, God, are you, are you hungry for Jesus today? Bible said, blessed is the man who hunger and thirst after righteousness. For you shall be filled. My sister, don't listen to what they want to say about you. You have to push past that. You have to push past the feelings. Push past the weak feelings. Because listen, when I go to Jesus, he's going to give me strength for my body. But if I can just endure, if I can just endure and push, So I believe this woman was saying, Oh God, 
Now the Bible said that Jesus was going to Jairus and, and a lot of people was following them now. And the crowd, come my sister, come my sister, come. No, the crowd, oh God, because they wanted to see a miracle. They wanted to see Jesus perform a miracle. So everybody was now following Jesus. And everybody was going. And the woman, because now she was weak, oh God. And Jesus was young in his 30s. And he was moving fast. But this woman made up her mind, say, if I can just touch him. I don't need to shake his hands. I don't need him to pray for me. I don't need him to say I write a prescription for me. If I could just touch something on him, hallelujah, I know I will be made whole. And so she was pushing. She pushed past the crowd. And the crowd was bouncing upon Jesus. But this woman was determined. Oh God, I wish, I wish we had some determined Christians in here today. I wish we had some determined Christians who when they when they come into the presence of God when they walk in the presence of God if you are sick you're going to push past your feelings oh God oh, I wish we didn't have so much moody Christians Oh, if the music now play right, them the worship enough. And if the, the, the singer miss a key, oh God, them skin up them fears. And if the preacher now preach right, then they them they'll say hallelujah. Oh God, I wish we had some Christians who, who will push past all the gossip and the ism and the schism. I wish we had some Christians who will lay aside the weight and the sin which so easily beset us. So this woman passed. Oh God. She was losing blood. And for someone to be losing blood for 12 years. We don't know if they did any blood transfusion in those times. But to lose blood for 12 years. Oh God. It must have been Jesus keeping this woman. Come on now. It must be Jesus who was keeping this woman for such a time as this. Must have been Jesus who was keeping this woman. Oh God. And maybe when she reached 12 years, Enough is enough now. Twelve years. Twelve years. Enough is enough. Time for breakthrough. Time for deliverance. Time for healing. And this woman, she must throw up maybe the last of her strength. She was weak. Weak, 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 weak. And so now because of the praise, the crowd, and she had it in her mind that if I can just touch him, she took the hiff off Jesus. Because sometimes we say, if Jesus could just touch me, Oh God, if Jesus could just send a word for my situation. If, 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 if Jesus could send somebody to help me. But this woman, she took the heath of Jesus and put it on herself. I said, if I, if I could just touch him. I have the problem. I may have the need. I may need deliverance. I may need healing. Oh God, I me need the Holy Ghost. Not my mother, not my father, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. And so this woman, pastor, when she pushed, oh God, 
I can just see this woman now because now she was weak and her strength was now failing. Oh God, she get down, probably she was on her knees. But she was still pushing. This woman is a very determined woman. Because she was pushing back, she said, Lord, give me some strength. Just a little strength. Because I need something from you. And she woman, she pushed to the press. And she, her faith, she, she maximized her faith. Her faith. What a faith. What a woman of faith. That she said to herself, I don't need him to put his hands on me. I don't need him to come to my house. Oh God, I don't need to send him a prayer request. Oh Jesus. Oh God, I don't need him to write a prescription for me. Oh God, she said to herself, if I could just touch him. The hem of his garment. I know I will be made whole. She said, the woman said, I know. Oh God, she believed the testimonies she heard of Jesus. And so she said, oh God, if he can do it for those people, he can do do it for me. My sister, if he can do it for others, he can do it for you today. There is no situation that is big for God. There is no problem that God cannot solve. Oh God. And so this woman had to push past a lot of things. She had to push, push past her enemies push past all the hypocrites. Oh God. She had to push past what people said about her. And Jesus was moving because he was young. A young Jesus on his way to Jairus' house because Jairus' daughter lay at the point of death. And this woman, she was rocking and coming. But God, she was determined. I believe what propelled this woman is her faith. And, her, and, the, and the words that she said, if I him. And the Bible said that when she, the last effort, the last, she mustered up the last strength. And when she finally reached out and touched the, the hem of his garment. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I wish somebody would touch Jesus today. I wish somebody would reach out and touch Jesus today. Because I guarantee you, if you touch him, your life will never be the same. So when she touched Jesus, the Bible said, immediately, instantaneously, she was made whole. Jesus stopped in his track. Praise God. Jesus said to his disciples, somebody touched me. Somebody touched me in a very deep place. Because I perceive virtue left my body. Healing has left my body. Peter said to him, Lord, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? Oh, come my sister. Peter said, Lord, look how much people is around you. Surrounding you. And, and how can you say, somebody touch me? Jesus said to Peter, Peter, you don't understand. Somebody touched me in a different place. Somebody touched me, a special touch. Virtually, my body. See, I, when I, 
analyze that statement from Jesus. We can come to church 65 million days of the week if it's so it goes. And we can just be bouncing upon Jesus. And all we do is bounce on Jesus. And all we do is bounce on him and we go back home. And so we come in sick and because we just have bounce on Jesus, we leave sick. We come in down and because we're not touching Jesus, we leave down. We come in and we say the devil is on my track. The devil is on my back. But because we're not touching Jesus, we go back home the same way. Just a bounce on him. But if we, if we touch Jesus today, hallelujah, our life will never be the same. This woman, she came to Jesus. She tried every physician. Has anybody in here ever been sick? Have you ever been sick? Anybody in here can testify and say, Lord, I have been sick. I've been at the point of death. Oh God, I was on my sick bed. Lord Jesus, the doctors gave you over. The doctor said, you won't last another five years. Oh Jesus, I remember my mother, she was sick. And the, she was sick with her stomach. The doctor said to her that, listen, I'm going to give you five years. We're going to put a tube inside of you. And you only can live with this tube for five years. You won't be able to have any more children. And so, mommy, when you go home, spend some time with your children. Because of your situation, you're not going to live to see five years. And that was in the, the, the early 90s, around 1998. And I remember that Christmas when my mother was in the hospital. I was just a little boy, but my father would visit her and he would come and give us the report. And he says, it's not looking good. My father broke down in tears and said, it's not looking good. Oh, God. And when my, my mother came out of the hospital, Lord Jesus, she was looking so different. She, look, she looked weak. She looked strange. She said this, and when she said to us, the doctor, give me five years. But we have a God who is bigger than the doctors today. We have a God when the doctors give you over. Come to Jesus. We have a God when the devil say it's time for you to die. Jesus said no. Not yet. When the devil knock you down and you think you are down. Then here comes Jesus. Just in time. To rescue us. And church, let me tell you something. Those of you who know my mother. In 2000, she gave birth to a son. Remember the doctor told her, listen, you're not going to have any more children. And when 2000 come, God bless her with another boy. Make five boy beginning, Lord Jesus. And when, and, oh God, because God is a God who love to show off. Woo! And when the devil said, listen, she now have no more children. Oh God, in 2008, God give her a daughter. Praise God. Oh God. And my mother is alive and well right now. Don't tell me that the doctors give you over. Come to Jesus. Don't tell me that your situation can't get any better. Come to Jesus. 
how can I be sick and, and, and throw in the towel and I know a man called Jesus doctors give her over the doctors might give you over but God oh Jesus can we all stand hallelujah holy ghost move in this place Lord doctors give her five years From 1998 to now, I believe that's 20 something years. Oh God, what a God! What a God! When the doctor said, Listen, two months and you're gonna die, God said, Listen, I'm gonna tell the doctor, I'm gonna give you 15 more years. Praise God. When the cancer should have killed you. God sent healing. When you should have died, God sent deliverance. Oh God, I remember last year I met in an accident. In a bike accident. Me and my friend was coming from work. He, we work and he said, listen, let me give you a drop. And we were on our way. And the lady, she pulled out of the traffic on us. And he hit the front end and I wasn't have on, I didn't have on any helmet. And when I got up, because he said I passed out. Praise God. And when I got up and I realized uh, what had happened. You know, I started to thank God for his mercies. Because if it wasn't for Jesus, who was on my side at, on, that, on that road, that time, maybe I would have died. But I thank God that the devil threw his net at me. But I thank God he didn't reach in time. I thank God for praying mothers. I thank God for praying pastors. I thank God for praying saints. Because I believe that if they weren't half for no prayers. Oh God. We serve a God that even when we don't see he's working. We serve a God that when we don't see he's always working. Never stop working in the affairs of men. And I believe that God was, was clear in some way. And he was clear in some things. Because when I, when I passed back down that route and I, I said to my friend, where, when I looked where the accident happened and when I saw the concrete light post and where I stopped a couple of feet away from the light post, and I was saying to myself, Lord, if I, if you didn't catch me in time, mighty God, if I had to hit that light post past, uh, I don't know what could have gone wrong. But I thank God. I thank God today that he never stopped working. And today, if you are sick, Jesus of Christ of Nazareth is here. If you are feeling down, Jesus is here. He's not passing by, but he is here. All you have to do is reach out and touch him. If you just touch him 
I guarantee you that your life will never be the same. Praise God. You will try everything. You will try the rum bar. You will try the weed, the crack, the cocaine. You try the doctors. You try everything. And if everything fail you today, my sister at the back, why don't you just give a Jesus a chance? Why don't you give Jesus a try? I guarantee you that you won't lose anything. You won't lose anything, my sister, today. Give Jesus a chance in your life. And I guarantee you, your life will never be the same. Saints, whatever it takes today, whatever it takes when we come to the church, when we come into the house of God, ensure that we touch Jesus. Because if we touch him, our lives will never be the same. Those on YouTube, you don't have to come in the building today. He's everywhere. He's in your house. Just reach out and touch him. And I guarantee you, your life will be changed. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everyone. Our time has far spent. Indeed. But before we leave here today, we're going to recognize him. We're going to recognize him. We're going to recognize him today. We're going to recognize him today. Can you just raise your hands? Before we leave here, we want to recognize him. Yes, recognize him. Recognize him. Recognize him. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship. I worship you. I worship you. We recognize you, Lord. We recognize you, Lord. You are here. Yes, you are here, Lord. We praise you, God. Somebody worship him. You stand to your feet and lift your hands. Yes, you are here. Oh, we appreciate you, Lord.
I believe it. We believe it. Even when I don't see When I don't see He's still working Even when I don't see You work Never stop You never stop working 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 Stop working. Even when I, even when I don't see it, you working. Feel it, you still working. You never stop. You stop working. You never stop working. Pray, make a miracle work. Robbie's keeper. My God, that is who you are. Somebody said, that is who you are. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. If I may but just touch him. If I may just touch him. If, is anybody here have that experience? You have touched Jesus. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everyone. The time is working against us. But I got to be asking... In the closing moment of this service, I'm going to ask you to raise your hands right where you're sitting. Is that Sister Sophia Dacus? One of my very special daughter. Sister Sophia, they don't know that God never stopped work for us. <laughs> so good to see you, my sister, praising your God. We know what we are talking about. He never stopped working for us never stop working for us never stop working for us praise the lord jesus i really want to ask again if there's anybody who want to get baptized you know i would want to i would want to encourage persons today you should not even hesitate to get baptized in these times because what what are you living for outside of baptism it doesn't it doesn't worth it in this time if you have not yet baptized you shouldn't have any reason not to because all that is in the world is sickness and disease and the rest of it and vanity but gonna be asking the church to uh, with us today i'm gonna ask you to pray for these persons can you by the raise of your hands again as we go you're the reason why you are the reason why jesus passed that way that's what the preacher was saying in a nutshell. You are the reason why Jesus passed that way. And because you are here today, Jesus is passing your way. We're going to pray for somebody today. We're going to grace somebody today. We're going to grace somebody. We're going to grace somebody today as we take a few more minutes.
We're going to look at somebody who is not yet baptized. Encourage somebody to get baptized. We have water in the pool. If you want to get baptized now, it, all you got to do is just to make a phone call and just call home and say, I didn't come to baptize, but I'm coming back home baptizing Jesus. Isn't that wonderful for somebody to do it right now? Yes. Whatever you can do now, do it. Whatever you can do now, do it. Today is the day of salvation. Harden at your heart. Yes. I'm going to ask the church to grace somebody with your presence. If I would just could touch him. But it is real. It is real. Oh, I know. Jesus is real. Hallelujah. Praise God. My doubts, they are settled. And I know as a church, we know. We have touched him someday. He's real. Jesus is real. Hallelujah. Yes, he is real. Oh, we know that he is real. Can we get a witness one more time? Jesus is real. Hallelujah. He is real. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That day when I received the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I receive the Holy Ghost, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Jesus is real. me that day when he touched me anybody the Holy Ghost
the Holy Ghost you had an encounter with God that's the day when I touch him <laughs> and he's real I wish we could stay much longer but the time have us but I want you to be assured and I know that Jesus is real because I touch him for myself I have my personal experience with him. I say Jesus is real. He's also sweet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. They are settled and I know yes I know Jesus is real yes I know I know he is real When any man come in contact with God, you can never remain the same. Jesus said, virtue have left my body. And Im immediately she was healed. As you remain standing today, I just want to be grateful to the Lord. We thank you, Jesus. As you're about to leave, as you're about to leave, can you just lift your hands and lift your voice? Yes, can we appreciate him today? Is anybody want to appreciate the Lord? We are, Lord, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Today, Lord, we can speak boldly. Today we can speak with the assurance. Today we can speak with authority that the Lord is my shepherd. And even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For thou art with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. Thou prepares to tell before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil and our cup run it over. Because we have an encounter with you, we can say, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And because we have an encounter with you, we shall dwell in your house forever and ever we bless your name we thank you for that encounter that day when we touch you and you make us whole we lift our hands in appreciation for that wonderful experience and may the saving grace of our lord jesus christ the full fellowship of the holy spirit the comforter rest remain and abide with us now and forever we thank you for that experience. We thank you for that touch. We thank you for the transformation. We thank you for that healing virtue. 
We give a praise as we go in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. Greet somebody in Jesus' name.